day three. Already, day three, and we're doing a 30 minute hit. Uh, there are two parts, and each part is 15 minutes long, and we're doing couplets, which I love. I'm kind of in a grumpy mood because I'm working out later in the day. Um, my kids are at home, my husband's at home, so they're in the back, and I've sequestered them back there, so we might get interrupted. Um, there's crazy noise because the dishwasher's running, and I'm wearing my painting pants, so there's paint all over my pants. I'm just, you know, it's a different day. So, I'm ready to go. Let's get this done. All right. The first 15 minutes, in between the couplet, the four minute couplets, I'm going to skip rope. The whole workout breakdown will be on cyclonefitness.com. Okay. Ready? Come on. Before we start. I have no idea if it's even loud enough. Oh, it's plenty loud enough. Oh, that's my 10 second rest. Okay, ready? We're gonna skip first. Here we go. If you don't have a jump rope, just do high knees, okay? Not high knees but high knees. I'm in a goofy mood tonight. This is gonna be a really talky video <laughs> because I'm in a goofy mood. Also, when I'm kind of grumpy and I don't wanna work out, I design workouts that have my least favorite exercises in them just because, I don't know, it just kinda hurt. I'm gonna bring my anger into the workout.
Clean go. Down. Push it up. Down. Push it up. The reason why I dislike the pendulum so much, I don't know why. It's just really difficult on my hips and my glutes. And difficult is good, but it's almost like painful difficult. Walking in and out of the shop, it's hilarious. Okay, wide sumo squat. 
Sink it down, shift your weight, and lift. Sink it down, lift. I know y'all are waiting for me to hit my head on the stairs. Hopefully that won't happen.
quick sip of water and set up um, a riser, which is what I need for part two. Right back. Okay guys, so uh, now we're gonna do part two and we're gonna do the same um, type. So it's three different four minute couplets and in between I'm going to do elevated goblet squats. Okay? And I will tell you what to do if you have no equipment. All right? As always. All right, so my timer again is on 50-10 for 15 minutes. And uh, I'm gonna start with the goblet squat. The reason why I do it elevated is so I can get deeper into the squat um, the way that I'll, you'll see in a second. All right, there we go. All right, so I'm coming up on these two stools like this. I'm gonna reach down and grab my dumbbell, hold it like this, like a goblet, and I'm gonna sink my weight into my heels and tap it way down here, and then push into the heels, bring it up, tap it down, bring it up. Being elevated allows me to get deeper in the squat without the weight touching the ground. Weight stays in the heels, and you can use whatever weight dumbbell works for you. Eight seconds. And then drop it down. Okay, so our couplet is tricep presses and feet up push ups. Here we go. Make sure your elbows are going straight back behind you and that your shoulders are pressed away from your ears. If you want this to be harder, you can straighten your legs. You can lift a leg. All those things make it harder. You can even put a curl bar on your hips with some weights or your sandbag. Okay, I'm gonna have to do 
regular push-ups, and I'm gonna do them on my knees, but I don't call this failure because I'm still doing a push-up. I'm not giving up, I'm just altering, altering my move, which is good because maybe I can be hanging out with some of my beginners tonight. So if you're a beginner, you're with me. <laughs> Make sure that your body is a nice straight line from your knees to your ears, no matter what push-up you're doing. And go all the way down. Instead of going all the way down to the ground, you're going to sit on the stool, okay? Here, lower yourself down, press your weight into your heel, stand it up one leg, okay? This is a really good thing to do if you can't yet do a full pistol squat, which on a good day, I can do a couple full pistol squats, but today is not that day. Plus, when I put pistol squats in my workouts, you guys go, no! Okay, now we're doing run-ups. You're going to try to be as soft as you can, gentle and ginger like a cat going upstairs, okay? You're going to go up, up. Down, down. Here we go. Use your arms to get you up. I think I'm a 
start leading with the left leg on this round. Because I led with, up with the right leg last time. sides of your spine is going to be on fire right now. Oh, come on, Sarah. Come on. Five seconds, come on. Try to keep your thighs up. Sweat dripped on this floor. It's gross. Here we go. Let's see if I can get three. <laughs> Here we go. Drop the head and scoop. One. Here 
Here we go. Breathe and focus. Go. You guys, I'm a sweaty mess. It's crazy. down like this so you can see me. Okay, so that is a 30 minute couplet workout. Tomorrow is a 40 minute hit. So make sure right now that you stretch, drink lots of water, and be ready for our 40 minute hit tomorrow. I promise I will make it doable. You can see that I struggle through these, so it's plenty fine that you struggle also. Okay, let me know what you think of the workout and please share it and subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow.